Hello, this is another in a series of videos in which I'll be answering questions submitted to RFSafe by email. A fairly common question we get is whether or not it's necessary to have a radiation protective shield for your laptop, and why RFSafe hasn't offered one in over 20 years, even though they were the first to make them in the late 90s. It's a good question, and the answer may surprise you. First of all, calling these computers laptops is not really a good thing at all, as they should never ever be used on your lap. RF Safe used to offer laptop shields decades ago when wireless Wi Fi technology for laptops didn't exist yet, but stopped offering them when laptops began to rely on wireless, and we realized the transmitter was too close to the body for the shields to be effective. Nowadays, consumers have a much wider variety of lower radiation choices. Certain laptops emit much less radiation than other, older models. There are very distinctly different types of radiation coming from your laptop. Magnetic fields as a result of spinning motors, such as the hard drive and CD-ROM, and microwave radiation in the form of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Thus, setting your laptop on a so-called radiation shield will only protect the part of your body directly below the shield. Laptop shielding designed like this will be useless when it comes to protecting the most important parts of your body, especially if you're pregnant. Your groin and torso are not benefiting from a shielded femur bone when the Wi-Fi transmitter is on your lap. Also, most older laptops contain at least two high RPM motors, so your exposure to electromagnetic fields is even greater. You'll notice I said only certain laptops emit more magnetic radiation, and this is true. Any laptop with a disk drive will, because the spinning motors that turn the disk create a great deal of electromagnetic radiation. We have safer and better technology now using solid state drives with no moving parts. The future is here. These computers that require spinning disks for storage are so last decade. While SSD is more expensive, this technology has actually been available for many years and comes down dramatically in price every year, too. So all you need is a computer with a solid state drive or SSD with no disk drive. These computers contain no moving parts like the 7200 RPM motors used for hard drive storage on outdated laptop hardware. No high RPM motor means no high magnetic radiation either, which means no need for a protective magnetic ELF shielding. How convenient. Since these computers still use wireless technology, you want to make sure that you turn off the wireless connection before placing the computer close to your body, like on your lap. To disable Wi-Fi, it's just a click. On Windows 10 computers, for instance, simply right-click on the Wi-Fi icon in the Windows notification area and select Disable or Turn Off from the pop-up menu. Of course, make sure you've already downloaded any content you need first, as placing your laptop in airplane mode will disable you from being able to access a wireless signal. If you need to turn the Wi-Fi back on, take it off your lap first. So if you really want to protect yourself, get rid of your old-fashioned computer with spinning motors that produce very strong magnetic fields, and invest in a laptop with a solid-state drive. It's really that simple. The money you save by purchasing a regular laptop case versus a shielded laptop case will probably be enough to cover the upgrade to avoid the strong B-field radiation, otherwise known as magnetic fields, altogether. You can still use a case to carry it in in order to help protect your investment, but there is no need for any kind of magnetic shielding when using SSD technology combined with airplane mode. It's as safe as you can possibly get. If you have any questions for my mailbag, please send them directly to support at rfsafe.com. Thank you very much for watching.